There's a tutorial on how to set up your Samsung Smart TV with your Amazon Alexa. So the first thing you want to do is create an account on Alexa Smart TV. Um, once you have that, you want to go ahead and log in. As you can see, I have no devices currently. So then, you're going to go ahead SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Go into any directory, really. And you're going to clone this repository. So you can go in and then first thing you want to do is go ahead and pip install your requirements. So I already have everything installed, but for you it'll install. Alright, next thing you want to do is make sure your TV is on and on the same network as your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and run the command line tool with scan. And this is going to scan for the TVs on your network. So as you can see, it found this one TV. Uh, it'll give you the name, model, what series it is, the IP address, and the MAC address. So what you want to do is go edit the TV config file and you want to basically input what it printed out right into this file. So you're going to put in your host, your TV model, the MAC address, and then here you're going to put in the name of what you want to call it from your Alexa. So if you leave it as TV, it'll just say, you know, Alexa turn on the TV. But if you change it to kitchen TV, you'll have to say Alexa turn on the kitchen TV. Prefer HD is if you say, like, change the channel to ESPN, it'll always try and use the HD channel number instead of the regular channel number. So once you have that all up, you can go ahead and log in. And this is going to log in directly into your Alexa smart TV account that you should have just created. Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> so once you log in, you're just going to register your device, which is registering the Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to do is set up cable, and setting up cable is just figuring out in your lizard code what channel um, maps to what channel number. So you'll have to go ahead and run set up cable, and you're going to enter in your zip code, and it'll give you all the cable providers in your area, and you'll just choose which one you have. So I have Verizon, so I'll choose eight. It'll download all the channel listings, and now you're pretty much good. So you're just going to want to go ahead and start it up. and now it should be running. So your next step is going to be to enable it on your Alexa app on your phone. So you're going to want to go into the Alexa app, go into your smart home, uh, go to the smart home skills and you'll search, I already have it, but you'll search for a Samsung smart TV controller. Go in here and just enable it. It's going to take you back to your Alexa Smart TV account and you're just going to need to log in to link your account. Once that's done, you'll just click close and click discover devices. It'll go ahead and discover your TV after you wait. So for me, it says no new devices found because I already added this TV, as you can see here. But for you, it should find this TV. Um, and now it should all be connected. So now it's running on your Raspberry Pi, as you can see. You should be able to just say, Alexa, turn on the TV. OK. And as you can see, the turn on command went through, and my TV turned on, although the volume's off, so you can't see it. But um, now it should all be running, everything should be connected, and that should be it. So, if you press Control c you'll stop the server, so what I recommend doing is just running this inside a screen command. So that way, 
you can run it. And you can just close the screen. So now if you go in here, you should see you are all of your devices. So obviously most people only have one. Um, and one Raspberry Pi can control all the TVs in your house. Um, so you'll see how many TVs are connected to that Raspberry Pi and then how many devices, and most people would have one device per home. So if you've had multiple houses with multiple devices, you'd see them here. And you can see the um, when the last time it was seen online, and it'll ping it periodically. So that's it, and it should all be set up.